How are likelihood and probability related? Think about this question during the lesson. Each spin of a spinner is an action that has an unknown outcome or result. The action, spin the spinner at the right, has four possible outcomes, yellow, green, blue, or red. An event is a set of zero or more outcomes. How likely is each event? Spinning yellow, spinning green or blue, spinning a primary color, red, yellow, or blue, spinning purple, spinning red, yellow, green, or blue. Each section is the same size. There is one section of each color. The spinner has four sections. Each section is shaded one of four colors. One section is yellow. Spinning yellow is unlikely, but not impossible. Half the spinner is either blue or green. Spinning blue or green is neither likely nor unlikely. How likely is spinning a primary color, red, yellow, or blue? Select your answer. Three of the sections are primary colors. Spinning a primary color is likely to happen. There is no purple on the spinner. Spinning purple is impossible. The whole spinner is blue, red, yellow, and green. Spinning one of those colors is certain to happen. Describe the likelihood of the spinner landing on an even number. Explain. The likelihood of spinning an even number, if you look at the um, chart or the spinner, um, the even numbers are 16, 12, and 14. There's 3, and then there's 11, 15, and 13, which are odd numbers. So that's half and half, 3 and 3. Um, of this spinner so half of the spinner is the odds half is even so it's neither likely or unlikely that you will get an even number mr garcia has a jar containing 10 marbles on his desk at the end of class each student draws a marble from the jar without looking notes its color and then puts the marble back in the jar if a student draws the red marble, the student does not have to do that day's homework. What is the sample space? A sample space, S, is the set of all possible outcomes for an event. Since there are 10 marbles, there are 10 elements in the sample space. This is one way to represent the sample space. S, again, represents the sample space is equal to the quantity of R, standing for the red marble, G, 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 standing for the three green marbles, and P, 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 P for the six purple marbles. And that's how you can identify your sample space. Mr. Garcia decides that too many students are drawing the red marble. He adds 10 yellow marbles to the jar. What is the new sample space? Instead of writing the entire sample space over again, I'm just going to add to that sample space. And for the yellow marbles, there were 10. So you would add to that quantity that was in the example, y, 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 y. Yes, all 10 y's to stand for the yellow. And again, you would just be adding that to the sample space from the example.
Elena rolls a number cube with sides labeled 1 to 6. Part A. What is the sample space for rolling the number cube? Sample space would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Those are the options when you are rolling the dice. What is likely the uh, likelihood that she would roll a 2? What is the probability of rolling a 2? So probability of an event is the ratio of the desired outcome rolling a 2 to the total number of possible outcomes. One of the six sides has the number two, so rolling a two is not likely, but not impossible. The probability of rolling a two is one out of six. This can be written as one six is approximately zero and 177, 67 thousandths, or about 16 and seven tenths percent. Is it likely that Elena will roll a number less than seven? What is the probability of rolling a number less than seven? All six numbers on the cube are less than seven. So all outcomes, all six of the outcomes make up this event. It is certain that El Elena will roll a number less than seven. The probability of this event is six out of six. This can be written as six out of six equals one or 100%. Is it likely that Elena will roll a number greater than six? What is the probability of rolling a number greater, greater than six? None of the numbers on the cube are greater than six, so this event is impossible. The probability of the event is zero out of six or zero percent. The game piece shown has 12 sides labeled one to 12. Part A. What is the sample space for rolling the game piece? So the sample space for rolling the game piece would look like S for sample space. And then you have one, oh goodness, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and then 12. That will be your sample space. Part B. What is the probability of rolling an 11? So the probability of rolling an 11, there's only one 11, so there would be one sixth of a possibility. If you wanted to find um, the percentage, let me just show you the long division. You divide the denominator into the numerator, add a zero, six goes into 10 once, that's six, that's four, add a zero, six goes into four, five times, I'm sorry, six times, and that's gonna be 36, that's four again. If we add another zero, it will give me again a six. So the percentage, if I, move my decimal to the right two times. That'll give me 16.6, .6, approximately 16 and six tenths percent of a probability. So that will be what you would have as a percent. Okay. Part C. What is the probability of rolling a number greater than 5? So greater than 5, let's see, we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers that are greater out of 12. So we would write that as 7 twelfths. And again, if you wanted to write it as a percent, you would do um, long division to find your percent. Add a decimal. 12 goes into 70. Uh, five times. That's 60. That's 10. 
add another zero. Um, that was 12 times 8 is 96. That's going to be 4 add a 0. It's 40, so it's been going in 0 times. I'm sorry, not 0 times, goodness. 3 times, that's 36. That gives me 4 again, so it's going to repeat. But all I want is a percent, so I'm going to move that decimal over 2 times to the right. So now my percent is 50, about, let's say, 58%. So now 7 twelfths is my probability. If I wrote it as percent, it'll be about 58%. Part D. What is the likelihood of rolling a number greater than 12? The likelihood of rolling a number greater than 12 is impossible because there is no number greater than 12 on this dice. So that is simply impossible.